Hello and welcome to this demonstration. Today we're going to look at how you can use Veeam Backup and Replication to protect your Azure native workloads directly from within the Veeam Backup and Replication console. Let's dive straight in and take a look at how we do this. You can see here that we're starting with a completely brand new Veeam Backup and Replication deployment. So we're not protecting any infrastructure right now. The first thing we need to do to get started is add our Azure infrastructure into Veeam Backup and Replication. We do this by going to Backup Infrastructure and picking Manage Servers. We simply right click and say we want to add a server. And in the same way that we can protect our vSphere or Hyper-V infrastructure, our Windows and Linux agents, we can add in public cloud protection as well, whether it's for AWS or Microsoft Azure. So with this being a Azure demo, we're just going to select Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure. And we have two scenarios here. If you're already a Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure customer, you can actually connect Veeam Backup and Replication to your existing Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure appliance. But in this scenario, we're a brand new environment and we want to go and protect our Azure workloads. We've never deployed Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure. We want to just manage that infrastructure fresh. We've never protected any of our Azure infrastructure. So we simply pick deploy a new appliance and Veeam Backup and Replication will walk us through a wizard allowing us to connect to our Microsoft Azure subscriptions. So we say next and the first thing that we're asked for is our Microsoft Azure account. Now if you've already configured Microsoft Azure accounts in Veeam Backup and Replication you can manage these accounts here. But as this is a brand new install, we actually have to add in our Microsoft Azure accounts. So we'll just add this. We pick whether we want to do Microsoft Azure or Azure Stack. Obviously, we're doing Microsoft Azure because we want to protect our workloads out in the public cloud. And then we're asked to create a subscription. So do we want to create a new account or use an existing account? As I mentioned, we haven't populated this with any credentials yet. So we're going to create a new account. So we click configure account. The first thing that we do is we add in our Azure email address, our Azure account. We paste our password and we sign in. Veeam Backup and Replication will now go and import all the subscription information for that Microsoft Azure account. So now that our account has been added, we can see that we have the subscription there. We simply say next and finish. We can see that we have now our Azure account in our manage our Azure credentials. So now we can move on to configuring subscriptions and how we want to configure the Veeam backup for, for Microsoft Azure appliance. The first thing you'll notice is what subscription do you want to pick? So if you have multiple Azure subscriptions, this is supported. So we're going to pick this subscription. What data center do we want to deploy the appliance in? So I'm going to say, I'm going to deploy this appliance on the East Coast of the US. And do we want to create a new resource group or use existing resource group? So I'm going to tell it to create a new resource group for the appliance, the Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure appliance to live in. We give it a name, so we'll call this VBR Azure Demo. And now we can have Veeam Backup and Replication configure our networks for this to use, or we can use pre-populated ones. We can have the virtual networks, the subnets, whatever we pick here, we can use predetermined ones, or we can just have it create new ones. So for this particular scenario, we're just going to have it create all new ones. We say next. Do we want to use a dynamic IP address or a static IP address? So depending on what your configuration options are around IP addressing in Microsoft Azure, you can pick either one of these. You can also have 
Veeam Backup and Replication use predetermined IP addresses if you have any static IP addresses configured. But again, we're just going to pick dynamic and have Veeam Backup and Replication create these. Next, what we want to do is create some credentials for the administrator account on Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure. So we'll give this just a username and password. And then we can use existing key pairs or we can add some key pairs. So we'll just say we'll use a default key pair and Veeam Backup and Replication will actually go and create a key pair for us if we don't have any pre-populated. Say next. And now the deployment of this configuration will begin. And it doesn't take very long. And there we have it. We are now able to go and configure our backups in Microsoft Azure. So you can see that that was pretty simple, happened pretty quickly. So we'll just say next. We'll look at the summary, make sure everything we put in there is acceptable. And now we can actually go and open the wizard to create some backup repositories in Azure Blob Storage. So we simply enable the tick box and we say finish. And this will launch the adding of the external repositories in Veeam Backup and Replication. So the first thing we do is we pick our appliance. We give this a repository name. So we'll just call this demo repo. Say next, pick our Microsoft Azure credentials. So you'll notice here that we have pre-populated storage accounts. In the same way that we added the Microsoft Azure subscription, we can add in our Azure storage accounts as well. So we'll pick this Azure storage account. Say next. Now we pick our Azure containers. So we pick from a list of containers that we've already created in Microsoft Azure. So we'll just say we want to pick this one. Do we want to enable file encryption? So encryption at rest. We'll add this and we'll give this a password. Create a hint. And Veeam Backup and Replication will now go away and create an appropriate Azure Blob backup repository so that we can store all our backups that we're taking in Azure in this repository. And we simply click Finish. We can see that we've now added our Microsoft Azure infrastructure into Veeam Backup and Replication. So the first thing that we want to do is go and create a backup job so we can actually protect some of our Azure Virtual Machines running. So we simply right click, we pick backup, and we see that we have Microsoft Azure. We are now presented with the add policy wizard for Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure. So we will give this policy a name of demo first job. Say next, we get to pick our sources. So what Azure account do we want to use? What regions do we want to protect our workloads in? So I'm going to pick Central US for this, say add. So now we want to pick the resources that we want to protect. So we say select resources. We have the option to protect all resources in that region that we've just selected. Or we have the ability to break this down via subscriptions, resource groups, virtual machines, or even tags if we want to automate these backups. So we're going to leave it on virtual machines and I'm going to pick from a list. So I will simply pick this particular Windows virtual machine and we see it's listed here. So I say apply. So we notice that we now have the ability to protect one resource in this policy. Next, we have the ability to turn on application aware backup. So if we want to do any application aware snapshots, if we want to do any pre or post scripts for Windows or Linux, we could add that here. Now we have the ability to turn on backups. So we've already configured this to say we want to take some snapshots of these virtual machines, but we want to turn on backups so that we can actually offload our snapshots out to the Azure Blob backup repository we just configured. So we'll say next. Then we'll turn on our scheduling. So this is, gives you a lot of granular control over your scheduling. You can pick when you want your snapshots and your backups to be taken. And then we pick how many snapshots we want to keep and how long we want to keep the backups for. Finally, we say 
where what repository do we want to put our backups into. So we'll pick that demo repo that we created earlier. Next, we come to one of the very unique features that show you the cost of protecting your workloads that are running out in the public cloud. So we can see here, this gives us some information around how much the snapshots are going to cost, how much the backups are going to cost, and the total cost of what this backup policy is. So this gives you a lot of control over what you're implementing because we don't want to be implementing backup policies and jobs out in the cloud that are going to cost us thousands of dollars a month for a very small Windows virtual machine. Next, we just finished through the settings. We're presented with a summary so we can review what we've configured and we simply say finish. That policy is created. We go back to Veeam Backup and Replication and there's our backup job. We can now run this backup job, protect all our infrastructure and manage that through Veeam Backup and Replication. So thank you very much for watching this quick demonstration. We've learned how we can protect our Microsoft Azure native workloads natively through Veeam Backup and Replication. For more information, go to veeam.com and start having a look at how Veeam Backup and Replication can provide you with the capabilities to protect all your data in this multi-cloud world. Thank you very much.